that only the female in the video would have known. The, de the female described her actions in detail that evening and mentioned items of evidence located in the residence that only she would know of. The female also described the restraints seen on the previous release video as restraints commonly used in private intimate encounters. Due to the allegations made by the female of sexual assault, we will not be naming the victim in this, in this case. We are confident, based on the totality of the circumstances and the evidence available to us, that we have identified the female in the doorbell video and that she is safe. At that time, I'll take any questions you might have. What's the identity of the man who killed himself? The, ma the, ma the identity of the male, his name is Dennis Ray Collins, 49. Uh, yes, yeah, 731 of 69. Can, when you, um, can you give us a sense, or especially viewers or people out there, about what this girlfriend was doing? That's the million dollar question, right? Everybody wants to know, was she in distress in that ring video that we see? Was she running away? Can you give us any sense of what she was doing? Yeah, she, she was in distress. Uh, obviously, uh, the allegations are that she was tied up by Mr. Uh, Collins. And then so she went to seek help, and when she couldn't get help at the, there was actually two neighbor's doors that she rang. When she didn't get help at those neighbor's doors, she then returned to the residence. Did he bring her back to the residence? She returned, she returned to the residence. Voluntarily? On her own. So at what point did she head to Dallas? Or what it was shortly thereafter there. She got a vehicle, and she's been in Dallas since. And that the, same night on yes, Friday? Yes, on that same night, or early morning Saturday, yes. So it, basically it was something sexual that led to something that she didn't want. Is that what well, it was? No, I, I don't. That part of what, what exactly occurred up to there, but she, her allegations of sexual assault are being taken seriously, and those are being investigated right now. Mr. Spencer, Spencer I missed. Um, so she, after she was seen on the video knocking on the, the, the ring, uh, she went back to the house? After she knocked on another door in the oh. residence, and then she went back to the house. And how long was she, was she at the house? Before she left? Before I she left, yes. I, I, don't, I don't have any. It wasn't long, but she left uh, shortly after returning to the residence to head to Dallas. Do you have a time of when uh, Mr. Collins killed himself? It w would have been early yesterday morning, or uh, after early morning before we got the call at 11, so somewhere between 7.30 and 11. I know neighbors have been she held against her will? Hang on, just say go ahead, Sophie. Uh, I know neighbors were asking about the back window that looked like it was busted out. Was that from authorities going into the I, I don't think the, re the window wasn't busted out. The screen was removed from the window, so and I don't know if that was by the deputies so they could see into the residence to see if this gentleman had, you know, was hurting himself or had already hurt himself. So that was not busted out by us. Uh, was she injured? When, during which time? I don't have that information right now. She's getting, she's pretty upset. Um, she's... Uh, very distraught about this. She's embarrassed. She's upset. She's in shock that this has, has, has come to this. So um, we're giving her her time, and we're obviously we're talking to her and staying in communication with her to, to get further details and more details exactly what all happened. Yes, ma'am. Are you surprised by the massive interest in this? No, not at all. I mean, it's, this is looking at the video itself. It's alarming how you know when you see somebody come up to the wind up to a door at three o'clock in the morning and that in those conditions absolutely not and i think it's great that the public and not only the public but the world took interest in and in trying to make sure that she was safe the uh, the outpouring of prayers that she was found safe was was great and i think that's a good thing for this whole for the whole world did she make any attempt to contact authorities if she was in distress she went to two homes but then returned back to the home of the incident did she make any attempts to talk to you guys before fleeing to Dallas? as far as i know that's exactly what i have i have no other intent that she did now again our in-depth interviews with her are going to continue which more information may be brought to light there but again all i have is right here what we've given you today about our conversations with her was she being held against her will at any point? I, again, I, I don't know the in-depth details that occurred. I know that Mr. Co she, Mr. Collins used the restraints on her, and then after that she was able to break free. Then she was able to go get help. And then she was out. how long she was tied up or if, if she was fully, completely tied. Those are details that we just don't have yet. How long had she been there, do you know? And, and where, in so Dallas? In that residence. Uh, the total that both we are, were way, probably about four months total. Together. Together. We know that they've been renting it for four months, so we're believing that's why neighbors didn't recognize them or they hadn't been from the area that long, so they're renting the house for four months. And why did he commit suicide? He committed suicide because he knew that this, uh, in his notes, the details of what were there, he obviously is extremely upsetting about what has occurred. Uh, he laid, you know, 
at fault for what had done. He admitted to that he did what he did to her that was seen in the video. Um, so I think that played a total uh, or circumstances into him committing suicide. And you said he, he admitted to, to, to what, he, uh, what he did. Can you just shed some light on, on what exactly he said in, in, in the text messages? Um, we, we, can't, we can't go into detail about the full length of what's in the text messages yet as we continue the investigation. We won't want the details of those getting out, which could compromise the investigation. As, you, as you're all aware, and we're here, this uh, gathered a lot of attention, so we're wanting to make sure we're very thorough without putting stuff out there that could compromise the investigation. Do you expect any criminal, child, any criminal uh, charges that must come to us? Uh, no, well, right now, no. The, the gentleman that this happened to, or unless we... The investigation is ongoing, and that Mr. Collins is deceased. So, but there's nobody else. At, at this very beginning, at, at, still at the very beginning, of, uh, we just started this investigation. This aspect of it, yesterday. During the four months. Do you know, four do you months, have the history of sexual assault? I, I did not run his uh, history yet. Are there any details with your in interview of the uh, female subject? Oh no, we, I, we can't give the details of that out. Uh, any anything that could identify her. That could uh, put her through embarrassment or any aspect of this. We're not willing to share that, nor and forbidden. The four months that she was there, was she allowed to leave, come and go as she pleased? Yes, yes. This was a, a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship that 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 other people knew her and knew them and knew they were they were in this relationship. So, hang on, this is gentleman. Here. Was she aware of the media attention that was surrounding this video and that it involved her in uh, any way? I don't know that for a fact, but I find it hard to believe that she didn't. Yeah. And was was he aware of the video? Yes, he was aware of it. And yesterday you mentioned that in the suicide note that he left behind, he mentioned that video. Could you go into detail as to what he described? I, I, um, unfortunately, I can't. I can tell you that he did mention it, yes. Did he identify her specifically in that, in that note? Like, how did how'd you, how'd you come across with her identity at that point then? How we got to her identity? Was it based uh, off that note? Did he name her specifically? Yes, in the note, yes. In, 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 or in the note or different communications at one point in time. I can't remember if it was in the note or if it was may have been in a text message, but it was in, in some form of communication that was mentioned. Do you believe the video led to a suicide? Uh, uh, it's hard to say. I mean, it, you know, suicide, unfortunately, it, it, it's an ugly thing that doesn't need to be. We need to be able to address those issues with suicide and, and get in front of those and talk about suicide and say that it's okay to not be okay. But uh, I can't speculate or get into his mind about, you know, everything surrounding why he did what he did. That part I don't know yet as well. Outside. Hang on just a second. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, can you run me, walk me through the timeline a little? So, uh, rings the doorbell, goes back to the house. At what point in this did she contact you guys prior to? I'm just confused about the timeline. Uh, she didn't contact us. We contacted her. She rang the doorbell that has been seen, the video doorbell. She then went and, and went to another neighbor's residence. After not receiving any answer at that residence, she then returned to her residence. And then, and then, then she left from there to go to Dallas. Okay, and then you didn't get in touch with her until after? Until the investigation into the shooting with Mr. Collins. Go ahead. This has garnered international attention. Have you guys been bombarded with other missing cases of people who think, this looks like my sister, this looks like my girlfriend who's missing? Have you guys been bombarded by extra missing cases around the country, around the world that that uh, unfortunately gave hope to other people? Yes, and, and unfortunately for those people, it did give hope to, the, to those people, and I, I wish it had a different ending for some of them, but yeah, this is, this is unfortunately, it's not a missing persons case, which, you know, posed some of the problems in us looking up, but those, we did receive numerous, uh, I couldn't even give you a number, but it was a lot of comparisons, reference to missing persons, not just locally or, or here in the United States, but also internationally. The detectives were in contact with each one of those law enforcement agencies to find out similarities between those victims and ours to try to find out, and that, that required a lot of manpower and time, but it was worth it. Was she aware of this video being out there? I haven't got, I have not got to speak to her yet. It was, again, it was a very preliminary interview that we had with her due to her, uh, due to the shock and everything that has happened and everything that's going on. And due to her current, you know, being a victim of sexual assault, we want to respect that and make sure that we're, we're respectful of her privacy as well. And so what, what is the nature of the, of the investigation? I mean, is this, um, if he were still alive, would this be a criminal investigation? And can you shed some light on that? Yes, that's correct. It would be, th this would be a criminal investigation if he was still. We're still looking at the, there's the separate, separate incidents, but they're being rolled into one. There could be the kidnapping, unlawful restraint. Uh, rolled into the sexual assault. So this could be a multifaceted investigation that uh, is still going to be worked as such, 
uh, even though he's not here, we need to get closure for everybody involved in this case. Could you explain Hang on just a second. Been together or is there any indication that this has been going on for a long time? I could tell you it seems uh, it was definitely for at least the four months. I don't know exactly the full long, how long they have. Um, the ex-wife obviously was extremely upset, so we couldn't get into details there with her. And then obviously the victim uh, herself was upset as well. So we'll, that will be part of the timeline that the detectives will be working to establish. Can you explain the uh, um, the injury that he suffered? Did he shoot himself in the head? Or? It was uh, to the chest. chest. Advice to people uh, just in general about answering those types of incidents because some people feel that it could be a scam, they might be yeah. attacked. How, how should someone approach a situation like this if it were to happen again, someone ringing your doorbell in the middle of the night? Well, I think most of it, well, if, especially if it's in the middle of the night, but first let's just start at the beginning. If it's Obviously, if it's during the day, you know somebody that's going to come over. They should hopefully announce or text or call that they're going to be coming and letting you know. But regardless if it's a day or night at that point, you know, use your doorbell or, you you know, security system if you have it. Use your peephole. Use your window. Um, most importantly, we encourage people to announce that they are there. In, in some of these home invasions or kick door burglaries, they're looking for someone not to be there. So if they're not, nobody's answering the door, they're kicking in the door and, and going into the residence. So announce it yourself there, tell them to leave the property, they refuse to leave, inform them you're gonna call law enforcement. When she got those handcuffs put on her, was that, was that done willingly or against her will? Again, that's part of the interview process with her. I'm, I'm, I'm probably wet in the bed that it, or believe that it was unwillingly. Is there any lesson in this in terms of that seven second video being posted online and the amount of attention it got? Is there just any lesson for the public? No, I think that it's a it's a good example of, you know, n not just the media, but the community and law enforcement coming together to to find somebody that could possibly be in distress, that could be in need of help. And and this was a good example of it getting there and getting, you know, pulling in resources and getting leads done and getting examples, getting the message out there to get it. I think eventually it, it, it would have came to this closure. Or we would have identified her and we would have gotten to it a lot sooner. But I'm I'm very overall happy with the the press and with the citizens and and internationally the response we got from it. Do you know any background of Mr. Collins? I mean, what he did for a living? No, I don't have that information right now. Dennis with two wins or one? I have two. Can you go into further detail? The ex-wife uh, in your release, you mentioned that she believed his girlfriend was the woman in the video. So she suspected this already, or was that based off the conversation she had with him? At what point did she kind of connect the two? I don't know when she did. She just believed it was. I don't know if it was that day. Maybe she didn't see the video till that day and realized it, uh, but she was adamant that it was her in the video to our, to our law enforcement. She knew, the, she knew the girlfriend? Yes, I, she's had a meeting, or she's met her before, yes. Was she actually at the house yesterday? Did she? The ex-wife? Yeah. Yes. So she found him? No, no, we forced entry into the residence. She was there with us when we arrived. What type of weapon uh, was it found? I, I, I don't know. It was found in the bedroom with him, but I, I don't know the caliber or the kind handgun. of weapon. It was a handgun, yes. There's no reason to believe that the, the, the girlfriend knew the, the video was out there for days but didn't contact law enforcement, or you don't know that? I, I don't know that yet. We're, again, that's part of our in-depth interview with her that we're going to be able to that we need to that go into further with. Okay? All right. Thank you all for your time. Okay. Are you planning on releasing Colin's photo at all? Mm, I know it's typical to in those situations. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, usually I've got to have a, a law enforcement, you know, like a suspect or need, we need to locate them, but not in a suicide, or an arrest, but not in a suicide. Um, yeah. Maybe you're aware. Yeah. No, 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 no worries. See so you go one way. That's all good. <laughs> we can get back up with help and escort the camera. Thank you.